This is my Iron Man series on Deflect RSPS. Starting from scratch, I'll be working towards the best in slot gear and upgrades while also being completely self-sufficient, which I mean is of course how the whole Iron Man thing works. But either way, sit back and join me on my adventure to becoming the best in slot Iron Man. If you want to play Deflect for yourself, a link to their Discord is in the description. Once you join the Discord, head over to the official links section and download the client from there. I'm also giving away a $25 book to one lucky winner, and if you want a chance at winning this book for yourself, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name, and I'll pick the winner in a few days. A quick shout out to Ortiz for winning the last episode's giveaway. They are AFK right now, but I went ahead and put the book in their inventory, so they're definitely going to be getting it when they come back. And in this episode, I need to get six Inquisitor's Crystals in order to get my Deflect Armor set. So I plan on doing a lot of Nightmare within this video, but I also need to get my KC done for my other raids, like the Chambers of Zarek and Theater of Blood. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything in this episode, I feel like. And of course, I don't really expect to get all six crystals in this episode. Episode, but if I can get a few then I'm definitely gonna be happy with that because a few here and a few there and before we know it I have a deflect armor set but actually after thinking about it for a moment I think it might just be a little bit more efficient to go to the theater of blood and the chambers of Zarek and finish my KCs there and just hope while I'm doing that I passively get divine keys and get some inquisitors crystals from that yeah that's exactly what i'm gonna do actually i'm guaranteed to get those crystals eventually even though i've been pretty unlucky with those crystals when it comes to divine keys but regardless i'm still gonna get those no matter what it's kind of just like a time played thing as well as just a luck thing and the same even goes for the pegasians and ranger gloves that i've been trying to hunt for the past you know a million years but that's okay um, i'm just gonna go ahead and do these kcs and i will get those items passively so i don't have to actually grind form if i grind form i'm kind of just gatekeeping myself from progressing yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish off these raids unlock dark fire and with just a little bit of luck i'll be able to get a pretty decent armor set boot upgrade glove upgrade and while i'm doing slayer and afk i could even get my amulet upgrade you know it's all a lot of afk stuff that i'm gonna be doing but right now my main focus are the raids and unlocking dark fire and believe it or not i actually do afk a lot on this game so the afk slayer is definitely going to bring in those drops eventually i just I can't believe that it's taken me so long to get ranger boots. There needs to be an update in order to help the Iron Man get these things because yes, of course, I need a pair in order to get my boot upgrade, like my first overall, the tri boots, whatever that is, the first upgrade for boots, but I need to get a lot more of those ranger boots and pegations in order to do other upgrades as well. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to get anything better than tri boots if there's not some sort of update that comes into the game. Also, since I'm throwing out some suggestions here, I might as well mention this as well. I know that the chambers of Zarek are very easy to get the 50 kills. It really just is like a time investment thing, and it really doesn't take that long just a couple of hours but i do think a better option is just to have theater of blood chambers of Zarek, and nightmare just be 35 kills each in order to unlock the dark fire because i'm over here at chambers of Zarek for three or four hours getting this unlocked and then i go to them nightmare for 30 minutes and then theater of blood for like an hour and a half two hours it just doesn't really balance that well with the time spent doing all of this and i feel like it would just feel like a better process if everything was just split up a little bit more evenly if you're enjoying the content then definitely consider joining my discord server this is the best way for me to interact and engage with everyone on a more personal level. I spend plenty of time here every single day, so if you want to chat or just hang out for a little bit, then feel free to do so. On top of all of that, I'm planning on doing plenty of fun updates, events, and giveaways on this server. The link to join will be in the description below, and I'd love to see you all there. But anyways, I'm done with that little ramble there. I'm gonna just go ahead and grind through the second half of kills here and finish off the Chambers of Zarek within this episode and probably move on to the Theater of Blood in the next episode. And I'm guessing it's probably gonna take me about another one to to three hours to finish off this second half of kills here at the chambers of Zarek, and it really just depends on if i can find someone to carry me hopefully i can but even if I have to do these solo, I'm still going to get it done in this episode. It's just going to take a little bit of time to do it. Shout out to Sukuna for the carry. This will make things so much quicker, and I definitely do appreciate it. Oh, and they just got an Elder Malt and an Icon drop in the same kill. You don't really see that too often. Oh my god, get your cameras out. Illy is here too. This is a rare moment we're witnessing. Normally, I wouldn't really ask for a carry because being a YouTuber, people are more incentivized to actually help me do things like run me through the chambers of Zarek or whatever because they can get on video 
or whatever. So it kind of feels like a little bit of abuse, but that's okay. It's not really that big of a deal to do something like this, especially since I've already gone through this grind on my main. I'm just speeding things up a little bit by asking people to come here. Wow, look at us. We're like the Power Rangers. We're so fast. We're going through these kills incredibly quickly. Oh, and Log Locked decided to show up. So we got the whole crew here. The whole Power Rangers team is ready to go. There's a twisted buckler drop nice. Aw, oh, man. I called for a prayer scroll drop right here, and I did get a drop, just not the right one, sadly. I've actually never called a drop on video before, so that would have been sweet. It's my turn to get the double drop. I got a devotion key and an arcane scroll, too. Unfortunately, I already got an arcane scroll, I think, in the last episode, or maybe the one before that. Either way, I definitely needed the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. No way, the back-to-back -back for the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. That is so lucky that I got that all within 50kc, especially back-to-back. -back. I don't think I've seen anyone get back-to-back -back Prayer Scrolls under 50kc. I'm sure it's happened, but I haven't seen it. Let's go ahead and redeem that, and now I have Rigor and Augury unlocked. I don't even have that on my main account because I'm too lazy to buy the scrolls, but yeah, that's crazy. There's a Crystal Drop. Not exactly something that I need right now, but I'll need it in the far future, so of course, I'll take it. And speaking of taking things, I'm going to be taking a break to go ahead and kill the global boss. Got a nice $1 book from that kill. Let's go ahead and redeem that. And just like that, that's my 50 kills finished. I got pretty lucky with five unique items in only 50 runs, plus some clues and a devotion key. So a very successful trip here at the Chambers of Zarek. I really do wish that I got the Den's Bulwark because that could have saved me 750k, but that's all right. At least I got the prayer scrolls. Now, as far as the devotion key goes, I'm really hoping for either an Inquisitor's Crystal an Inquisitor's Mace, the Den's Shield, or the Bludgeon. All of those would be amazing to get. And it's another Twisted Crossbow, unfortunately, so that's not going to help me out. Got another $1 book from Killing the Donator Boss. Well, for a little bit of a sneak peek, I'll do one Theater of Blood kill for this video, but I'm going to go ahead and save that for the next episode because that's going to require a decent amount of time to do. But that's where I'm going to be ending today's episode. If you did enjoy, then let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more content in the future like this, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. On, that way you never miss out on any of my content.